So I wanted to talk to you really quickly about why Christians do not live in the victories that Jesus has purchased for them. If it is all given to them in the person of Christ, why is it that so often the people who belong to Christ do not experience the fullness of Christ? Well, I just wanna show you a couple of things. There are two major understandings of life. Number one, there is the natural life, and then there is the spiritual life. The natural life is on the lower plane. The spiritual life is on the higher plane. To describe to you what the natural life is, Galatians chapter four, verse eight says that the natural man doesn't know God. Romans 2.21 shows us that the natural man has no gratitude towards God. Romans 3.11 shows us that the natural man has no desire for God. 1 John 4.10 shows us that he has no love for God. John 3.18 shows us the natural man has no faith in God. Romans 3.18, the natural man has no fear of God. Romans 1.21 and 25 shows us that the natural man does not worship God. 2 Timothy 3.8 shows that he resists the truth. 1 Corinthians 2.14 shows us that he does not receive the things of God. 2 Thessalonians 2.12 shows us he rejects the truth. 2 Thessalonians 1.8 shows us he disobeys the gospel. Romans 5.10 shows us that he is an enemy of God. That is the natural man. And this is what humanity is, period. But when a man receives the Holy Spirit, he then has quickened life on the inside of him. He now can perceive God. He now can desire God. He now can love God. He is the complete opposite of the natural man. He has a love for God poured out in his heart. Romans 5, 5 shows us that the love of God is inside of a man bursting up unto God by the Holy Spirit. We see that those that are led by the Spirit, these are the sons of God. So this means that with the spiritual man, the Holy Spirit, the presence of God, is the most important thing to him. That being subjected to the perceiving of the presence of God in daily life is how he now lives. This is everything to him. He loves Jesus. He values Christ, his word, his gospel, his truth. This is his highest delight, is to offer fruit to the beloved. It is the only thing that he desires in life, is to be well-pleasing to the Lord. And it is by subjectivity to the Spirit that this actually happens. Now, herein lies the problem. Many of us have been born again into the spiritual life, but we keep going down into the natural life. Maybe it's because we're more familiar with it. Maybe it's because we do not lay everything down at the feet of Jesus. But this kind of a person is called a carnal Christian. And so the carnal Christian goes up and down, up and down. He doesn't live on the highest plane. He touches the highest plane and goes back down to the lower plane, goes back up to the higher plane, and goes back down to the lower plane. He's up and down. And this is the kind of Christian that actually is unable to experience all the wonderful, blissful realities of the person of Christ. And so, uh, as one writer writes it, the Lord Jesus is the center of the life of the spiritual man. And the Lord Jesus has undivided control over his whole being. Jesus dominates the spiritual man's thoughts, his affections, his speech, his will, his actions. He has become a partaker of the nature of God. So there are two natures in the spiritual man. But the divine nature is sovereign, rules over everything else. He is alive to God and dead to sin. But the, the carnal man has the Holy Spirit dwelling in him, but he is constantly grieving the Spirit. He is quenching the Spirit so that the Holy Spirit's power is restricted in his life because the Spirit is not allowed to dominate his life. So therefore, all the realities of joy and peace that come from the Spirit are not able to be completely experienced because the Spirit is not allowed to rule completely. Herein lies the major issue. If you find yourself a carnal Christian, you can't say you're natural because you do have spiritual desires, but you seem to be up and down, up and down. Herein lies the issue. Complete 
surrender to the Lord so that the Lord can have full appropriation of our lives. Jesus Christ being Lord of our lives. It's not enough to feel the need of Christ. It's not enough to feel the need of relationship with Christ. We must enter into satisfaction with Him. Christ must have first place in the heart. He may have a place in our hearts, but He must have first place, the place of supremacy and preeminence if we are to actually enter into a life that consistently enjoys everything that God died to give to us, everything that Jesus died to give to us. The Lord Jesus must be the center of our life so that the old man, that natural man, is dethroned and no longer has a say or a sway upon our lives. So I just want to encourage you that everything that Jesus died to give to you is yours. And that if you will let the presence of God be number one to you in your life, you will find that He is the one who causes all of these things to come about in your life. Let me pray for you. Father, I thank you that you have done everything for us and that it is your spirit, your power that performs all these things so well in our lives. I ask you to forgive us, each one of us, for going up and down, up and down, being carnal Christians, Christians that have one foot in the natural man and one foot in the spiritual man. Lord, may we renounce the old and completely live disconnected from the natural man, completely submitted to the Spirit, the, the presence of God, the presence of the Lord Jesus be first place in our lives in Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Thanks for watching this video. I pray the Lord quicken you and help you. Hey guys, some of you have been asking us how you can support our YouTube channel. You've been blessed by the videos, the short films, short teachings, and the instrumentals. Listen, if you don't know about Patreon, Patreon, there is a way to support our YouTube channel with $1 a month. And I will leave the link underneath this video for how you can become a patron, a literal, a literal supporter of our YouTube channel for $1 a month. And I thank you so much for those of you that have asked about this. The link is down below. God bless you.